Hi everyone, welcome back to another Connecting Your Creativity. I'm Alex, and this week we will be doing some heart paper quilting. All right, let's get started. All right, so for this project, you will need two sheets of red, pink, and white construction paper. Um, you will need a pair of scissors. I only have medical scissors, but any scissors are fine. Um, and something to spread our glue. So I have popsicle sticks. Um, you can use a paintbrush. You can use anything that you have lying around the home. And your tacky glue. It's important that it's tacky glue. Um, and it's very optional, but also a ruler um, if you have one or if you need one. All right, let's begin. So we're going to start by making our heart um, outline. So like this one over here, we have an outline of paper that kind of goes around our hearts. So to do this, I went ahead and um, marked two pieces of uh, construction paper <laughs> that I need. So I'm just going to cut them and it doesn't matter how thick um, or long it is, that is totally up to you. I am cutting the uh, short way versus the long way uh, for the first part of this because I find that I just get better results. Um, and I think that the long ways is just a little bit too big. So then we're going to find the flattest edge that we have. So I cut my two pieces off the ends, the short ends of my piece of paper. So that way one side is completely flat. So when I go into uh, glue it down, um, there's no gaps between this piece of paper and the main sheet of paper that we're working off of. So our white sheet of paper, one of our white sheets of paper is going to be the main paper that we're working off of, which I already have laying down in front of me. So you do want to make sure that you have that white sheet of paper um, placed in front of you before you get started. And I quickly lined this sheet of paper with a little bit of our tacky glue. And I'm just making sure that it's really in there uh, using my um, popsicle stick. And then we're just going to place it on the piece of paper in the center um, and make the shape of our heart. So this looks really good. Perfect. And again, we're going to add a little bit of glue. And we're spreading the glue to make sure that it is nice and even. And again, we're going to place it on our sheet of paper. Ah. <laughs> Stay, you got it, perfect. And then you just want to make sure that they look round and even on both sides. So as one side is kind of lopsided, you can kind of move it around until it's in the right position. So I think that looks great. We have our heart outline. So now we can begin with our um, curled uh, pieces of paper. All right, so to start, you're going to take one of your strips of paper like I have here, and we're going to start curling our piece of paper um, in words. So you can either use a pencil tip to kind of help with this part, or I just use my fingers and I kind of just um, start the process. And it gets a lot easier um, as you continue going. Um, and 
pretty soon you'll have a nice little swirl that we can glue onto our paper. So just keep curling like this. until you get this. And then we can take our tacky glue and go ahead and um, really make sure you get the entire bottom. And then we can take, um, I have a popsicle stick, but if you have anything that can spread the glue, you want to make sure that um, it's nice and even and then you can place it. So before you place it, you can decide whether or not you'd like it tighter or you'd like it a looser one like this one. So to make it loose, you would just kind of let it go and it unfurls a little bit, but to keep it tight, you would just make sure that you didn't let it unfurl in your finger before placing it. And once it's placed, the glue kind of holds um, its shape for you. So you don't have to worry about it unraveling or anything like that. So again, we're just going to take another sheet, a little strip of paper. I'm going in with red this time. And having the different thicknesses of the strips and having um, the different variety of open blooms and really tight curls, um, provides a nice variety, I think, uh, in our quilling, our paper quilling. Um, I think it looks a lot more interesting and diverse, and I like that. So you can kind of decide if you'd like to keep it uniform or if you'd like to have some bigger than others and some taller than others, like some of mine are a little bit shorter and some of mine are a little bit taller. Um, it's really up to you uh, to make sure that they are all even. You would just want to standardize whatever um, cutting method you have um, when you're cutting your strips of paper. And we are almost finished. We have a few more slots to go. And I did most of this in another um, video, which I'm going to uh, add at the end of this video. Um, so you guys can see kind of the whole process. Um, it took me about two hours to uh, complete this entire and so we're going to continue just kind of cutting our sheets of paper into um, our little strips. We're going to continue rolling the strips, um, deciding the placement and how uncurled or tightly curled you want your papers to be. Um, and then you just continue on until the whole thing is filled. Um, if there's any gaps or anything, you can always uh, make smaller curls, like with littler sheets of paper. Like if I were to stop here, I might be able to fill in some of these really tiny gaps. Um, you don't have to worry about filling in every gap. It does look nice to see the bottom of the paper. Um, and you can see all like the depth and everything. I think it's really interesting. Perfect, and I think we got one or two more to go and we should be good to go. Maybe if I use a little thicker one, I can get away with just one. Ah, 
perfect. It fit perfectly. All right, I will go ahead and add the footage of me finishing this up. <laughs> 